In this video I'll be showing you how to make a moving object animation. So first let's open up a standard EXE project. And in this tutorial it's best to make your form in a maximized window state. So click on your form, go down to the properties, and change normal to maximize. And then maximize your so, interface here. Okay, and I'm going to put in a command button. I mean, you can use any little object here in uh, the Visual Basic for this tutorial, but for now I'm just going to be using a command button. So I'm just going to put hi. Okay. So, okay. First thing you must know in this tutorial is this little thing up here in this toolbar. As you can see, it looks like it's coordinates, right? Zero, comma, zero. And the object we have selected, as shown in the property window, is form one. And as you can see over here, there's like a little dotted object. And then at the top left corner, there's a little cross. So that little cross there, the little coordinate plane looking thing, is the coordinate zero, comma, zero. In other words, that's this top left corner of this form. So I mean if we were to click on our high, the object we'll be selecting now is command one, the coordinates change. Zero comma four thousand eighty. So that's where the coordinates of this little object is. So if you as you can see, I'll move it around, the coordinates change as the object's position change on the form. So that coordinate here is this little corner here of this object. Okay. So, as you can see, uh, as you know in mathematics, this would be x and y. In x, it's left and right. In y, it's up and down. It's pretty much the same case here. But the, but the thing is, the difference is, that it's not called x and y. The left side is called left in the property. So, just click on the object and go to the properties here on the side and it's left. As you can see the uh, left of this object is 1080 and over here in the coordinates 1080 and the Y in Visual Basic is top so 4680 is top. As you can see they're the same top and top. So how to make this move. As you may probably have guessed by now, we'll be adding to those coordinates if, if you haven't already. So okay. So in order for that to happen, we must first make a timer. So we make a timer. Change the interval to whatever you want. But it's better to make it lower, like one, or else it's gonna move really slowly. Alright. So uh to start off just double click on the timer and we go to the private sub timer one timer so the object we would like to move is what? It's command one right? so go back to the form click on the object its property name is command one alright back to the timer so the code starts off as command one dot so we want it to move upward so what's our y in this case? It's top, right? So we want it to go up. So command one dot top plus or wait, let's let's take a look at this. Let's look at this first. It's not. It might not be plus. So we look here. We move it to the top left corner. This is just to show you the concept of this little moving animation. Okay, as you as we have stated before. The top left corner of the form is zero comma zero. So if we're to move this object downward, what happens to the y? It adds, right? It increases. It added by two hundred and forty. So in this case, going down means adding to the top. So that means what? Going up means subtracting the top. Okay, so we go ahead and back to our timer, and then we subtract, subtract 10. 
Okay, so you can see the little object is now moving. Okay, so if it keeps moving and moving and moving, it'll just leave the form. So what if we just want it to stop over here on the top, top of the form? Stop like right here. All right. So we need to make a condition on our timer for that. So we go ahead and go back. So we want this object to stop here. So we know that here is 0 comma 0. So we go back to the timer's code and we go to the next line and type in if command 1 dot top is equal to 0 then um, and if uh, and if so timer enabled is equal to false so what that does it'll stop subtracting to the top it'll stop moving so if we add uh, let me just change this a bit make it go faster like 40 there you go stop but let me show you something here in this code if you do something like this as you see as you can see it did not stop at that point so why is that that's because if you look if you think about it 5080 right and you keep subtracting 43 at some point you'll re you'll reach a point um, where it'll become negative let me show you with the calculator here so 5,280 divided by what is the thing we're, subtra we're subtracting by here? 43 so divided by 43 equal to as you can see it has a, has a has a little decimal there so there's a remainder so let's go and multiply 122 times 43 and then we subtract 180 I mean sorry uh, 5280 so 34 so at some point when it keeps subtracting it reaches the point of 34 34 minus 43 it, it becomes negative it never reaches zero so what you need to do it at um, at something like this to avoid this type of error is to put in, um, put in a less than symbol therefore that way um, that way it won't fly off the page I'll, then, I'll run this and show you see it stopped but if we if we didn't have the less than symbol it'll leave the page so it's better to even if it is correct I mean like if if it is precise it's better to put in this less than symbol or greater than or whatever you need to avoid these type of little mishaps so okay so we made it we made the move, the object move upward. So what if we want to make it left and right? So let's do that. So what what if we want this object when it reaches here to move to the right? Okay. So we add in another timer. Okay. Change the interval. And then so when it reaches zero, we want it to move where? We want it to move to the right. Okay. So we'll, I'll use the little timer as a thing to check the coordinates here. Okay. So we, we know the top left is 0 comma 0. So if we move to the right, what happens? The left changes and it adds. Right? So we add to go to the right. Alright, so let's do this. Double click the timer to go to the timer, the timer uh, private sub. So what we want is the command one to move to the to the right. So we 
make it command one dot left is equal to command one dot left. What did what happened? We add it. So we add to go to the right. So add what? Let's make it 43 also so it maintains the same speed. So okay, let me let me show you what happens. I forgot to do something, but let me show you what happens if uh, if we run this. It'll move in a diagonal, I would I believe a diagonal motion is here. There we go, it moves in diagonal. Okay, so and that's because I forgot to disable the timer. So we go back to the back to the form, go to the timer, and disable. So go to the enable and make it false. Okay. So you gotta watch out for those little properties. So it's false at this point. So if we even if we were to run this, nothing will happen. See? So when it reaches zero, so the condition will be here. When it reaches the top, the timer timer two will be enabled is equal to true. So this little code here will go ahead and run. See? So it, and then of course it'll leave the page because we didn't put a condition. So you can do whatever you want there. So let's just put in some random condition here. So if uh, command one dot left is equal to oh I'm sorry let's put in greater than or equal to so that it, you know we don't have that little mishap again uh, let's just pick a number 3000 then and if timer 2 dot enabled is equal to equal to false run this should stop at some random point of 3000. There you go. So, okay. Okay, so that's pretty much the moving animation thing. So, you can do whatever with this. You can make like a little macroly or whatever it's called. You can move it move or move around the form back and forth. So, yeah, that's the tutorial. And I hope it helps to make your forms or projects a little more fancier. Okay. So thank you for watching and that's the end of the tutorial. Thank you.